My name is Sandra Hay. I'm really honored to be here, and I'm totally not nervous. Two weeks ago, I was uh, standing in line uh, with my groceries at a little supermarket on the side of the road, and there was this elderly, fragile elderly man was standing behind me, and he offered me to put my bags in my car. The first thing that went through my mind was, hey, I can do this, this myself, but this elderly man, he looked so sincere, so I said, yes, please, sure, that's really friendly of you. He puts the bags in my car, we had this really friendly talk, really nice talk, and I noticed all day I was thinking back at this moment with so much pleasure. It's such a little thing to offer help, and it had such a big impact on me. This was simply an act of kindness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, four years ago, four years ago, I met this woman, a woman on her own, with seven children. The first time I went to her house, I was totally shocked. The seven children were undernourished, and the, the living circumstances were terrible. No running water, no electricity, no place to cook, no bathroom, no toilet, no windows. They had to sleep on the ground. This woman, you could see, she really, really loved her children, but this was a hopeless situation. She was just simply was trying to survive. So I wanted to get. I wanted to get her. I wanted to give her an act of kindness. No. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So. I ask everybody in my social environment for contributions and to, for a helping hand. And one and a half year, years later, she had a whole new house together. We built her a new house. It's amazing. She has a steady job now for three years as a dishwasher in a restaurant. And for her, life is still, it's not easy. But the fact is, she got her self-esteem back, and she has a chance for a better life, a new chance. So two years ago, I was approached by this local radio station, and they asked me to take a project for a big makeover. I think you all know what a makeover is from television shows. You, you take a house and you do a little paint, a little bit of remodeling. So we found this elderly home that was set up 32 years ago by a husband and wife. They started little, like with a few people, but time after time it grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And now there are living 30 elderly people in this house. It's amazing that these people, this woman and husband, I have, I have, I'm so impressed and I have so much... Can you imagine, you take 33, two, for 32 years, you're taking all these people in your house, you open your heart and your house and you shelter and nurse them for 32 <laughs> years of your life. And the living circumstances were terrible, it was just terrible. The hallways were lined up with hospital beds. They only have fruit once a week, they have a piece of fruit. The roof is leaking. The, 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 the floors are like this. Some, po some people sleeping with their heads down. So of course we wanted to do this makeover. And after we decided this, just a day later, I was on this party and I met this man, met this guy. I never knew him, I never saw him before. And he was like, he told me he was the owner of a hotel. So I asked him just directly, I said, well, can I dump 30 elderly people at your hotel for free <laughs> for a week? 
then we can do the makeover. <laughs> oh, nee, I, I skipped that one, sorry. No problem. No problem. This guy said no problem. Just again, an act of kindness. This guy said no problem. So the 30 elderly people stayed in the hotel for a week and they had a wonderful time. <laughs> there was this couple, they were a married couple, they were staying in the elderly home and they didn't share the same bed for six years. They had a lot of fun. <laughs> Really. <laughs> and then there was this old guy, 99 years old, this guy. And I have to put this aside because I have to show you. He was sitting in a wheelchair like this, just only staring at the ground like this. No reaction whatsoever. Whatever you did, no reaction at all. So my husband, he came up with a fantastic I idea to give him an ice cold beer. And you know, when you're in, a, when you're in an elderly home, you cannot get an ice cold beer. No one, no way. <laughs> So my husband, he was sitting like this, and my husband was going like this with the beard. And this guy literally jumped up <laughs> and was like, ah. And my husband, he opened the can and he gets the beer and he was like, <laughs> like this. And at that moment, I was so motivated. I wanted to do the makeover. I wanted to give them a better home. I really, really wanted to do that. So, the makeover, it didn't happen. The house was too old. We couldn't do it. It was totally useless. Ta-da! This is the new house. We're building a new house now. Again, I ask everybody... <laughs> Again, I knocked on everybody's door. Please help me, help me, help me. We have to do this. We have to do this for these people. And we can only do this project by donations and people are, who are working for free. The architect, he's working for free. This guy, this elderly man, he's 72 years old. He has so much knowledge on building sites. He's working there on a day-to-day -day basis totally for free. Nothing, nothing at all. Then. The schools, they were collecting money for this elderly home. The children were running, like 20,000 we collect with that. And then soldiers and Marines, they came in to help us. It's so nice, man. It's a miracle. <laughs> so everybody started out helping us. It's great. I have this company. They're going to, because this, is, this photo is actually taken like two days ago. And I have this constructor on the island, he's going to place the roof for free. There's another constructor on the island, they're going to do the streetings, the straat. How do you call it? You know, the, <laughs> the what? Yeah, the paperwork for free. So everybody's like, the, the, even the accountant, the webmaster, the constructor, the architect, everybody is helping for free. Woo! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> so... What's my point here? I know it's in my brain somewhere. I know it, I know it. What was it? <laughs> Wait a minute, I really have to do this. I have to, I'm, I, oh yeah, giving makes you feel better. <laughs> giving makes you feel better. It makes, it makes you better. It makes you rich, no matter what you have or what you don't have. L just like the elderly guy who put the bags in my car, or the guy, the, you give a guy, a 99-year-old guy, you give him a can of beer. I mean, come on. The less, the less, oh, nee. When you truly have nothing, <laughs> as a mother with the seven children and the elderly people, they you know forever, that generosity saves lives. In a world driven by money and statue, it's so important. No? It's important to remember that kindness is the only real currency. Boost, boost, boost!